Hello everybody, back on the FC 150 restoration of the cab again. And this is where we left off last time. And you can see this section is part of the floor of the battery box. And it's part of the wheel arch. And you can see there's nothing left to the bottom of that. We're missing about four inches or so. Um, <clears throat> on this side you can see I've been busy drilling out the spot welds and there are a lot of them. There's that brace that's in the battery box. You can see how many spot welds they had there. And this is a this is a good place where you could just cut this off right across here, try and match up the beads real nice, and make a weld patch in there. Um, but if you do that, you're going to have, like I say, you're going to have um, a weld seam all the way across there. You have to grind out carefully in the beads. And then you have to metal finish that. And you're probably going to wind up with some filler in there. And because that's in the wheelhouse, and you might be throwing stuff at that, at that seam you make. Um, it's a bad spot, I think, to have any type of um, filler or anything in there to dress the seam out. So um, I'm going to take the whole panel out. And that way uh, you won't really be able to tell that there was a panel put in there when I'm done. And it makes for a much nicer um, wheelhouse and um, a much better repair. You can see I started flipping the side panel out a little bit. You can see all the rust in there. Um, and I'll do what I do on all my projects. I'll put some weldable primer in there. And um, it should last a lot longer. Um, this is ready to just fall out right now. I've been... Uh, drilling and chiseling parts out of it and uh, this is ready to just flop out right now so uh, I'll pull this out and we'll head over to the bench with it uh, I give you a sneak peek inside the battery box pretty rusty in there and like I say this particular area is gonna have to be replaced but uh, we'll concentrate on one thing at a time I'll take this wheel arch out and uh, meet you back over at the bench. Okay, so here's our part out of the vehicle. And like I say, I'm going to make a whole new panel. And we've got a little curve on this side, and we've got some details we've got to make just right. Uh, putting these three beads in, uh, we're going to have to make some tooling for that. And you've seen me make tooling in the past. And what I start out with is a, um, is a little profile gauge here. And I squeeze that down in there. And that's what we're trying to duplicate. So you get that side, and you get that side at the same time. So I'm going to lay that out on some uh, three-quarter stock. That's going to fit in the pull max. And um, I'm going to make a quick tool. And uh, we'll make a couple test passes through in the pull max to see how it comes out. Okay, guys, you've seen me make some pull max tooling before. And uh, last time I, I showed us a, a set of tooling being made, I got a lot of questions on how I polish it up. Uh, this is just a, a blending wheel or a deburring wheel. Uh, you can get these anywhere. Uh, MSC or industrial place like that. Uh, it polishes metal, it takes burrs off. Um, machine shops use them. A lot, a lot of different companies use them for deburring parts and stuff like that. It really puts a nice polish on your part. Uh, <clears throat> they last a long time. This one started out as an 8 inch diameter wheel. Um, and you can see how much of it is gone already. Uh, but you can use them right down to, uh, to a nub. Um, they work real good, they work real fast. Um, turn that on, and I'm just polishing up uh, some of the tooling that I made to make those beads. And the smoother you can make your edges, uh, the better your part's going to come off the pull max. Now, anytime you're making tooling there, 
uh, <clears throat> if you're feeding material in, you want to put a generous lead in there. Uh, and then you want to polish everything, polish the back out a little bit, the sides, everything, everything that's going to touch a piece of sheet metal, you want to have a high polish on. This is the other piece here. I'll try and get some better shots. I can't really see as I'm as I'm buffing this, but uh, let me finish this up and I'll show you what the tooling looks like. And we'll head over to the pull max. And we'll make a sample and see how that matches our contour gauge. Okay, there's our top and bottom tool uh, polished up, ready to go in the machine. Uh, now this just started out as some three-quarter square um, steel, just mild steel, and uh, you could see some of the uh, the imperfections uh, in in the shank here. Um, this is a metric machine, so uh, I have to take it down to uh, 748 to fit in the machine, and I have to. Uh, radius the corners a little bit so it goes down in the collet but um, this is just mild steel and uh, e easy to make tooling it's a very easy set to make uh, it's not really uh, complicated it's just made right on the uh, three-quarter square bar and uh, you don't have to add any pieces to it and uh, it, it works pretty good uh, when you have a small bead like this so they're polished up now I think they're gonna be okay I'm going to set them up in the pull max. Uh, we'll get a piece of 18 gauge. The piece I took out was 18 gauge, and we'll duplicate it with the same material. And uh, I'll get a sample piece over there and try and get the camera set up, get some light on it, and uh, we'll see what we get for a bead out of these. Okay, I've got the dies mounted in the machine, and when I'm trying a new set of dies, uh, I keep the. Uh, this is an air air lift pull max so I just got a foot pedal to raise and lower the tool I keep my lower tool keep the collet loose so I could bring the lower tool up and down easily uh, and I just creep up on it uh, a little bit at a time uh, until I get the, the proper bead that I want uh, that way you don't crash the tool or put too big a bead or too small a bead in there it's just easier to creep up on it with the um, with the hand wheel on the bottom tool so uh, I'm going to turn the machine on now and run a sample through there. We've got it set for a long stroke and not a real fast speed. If you get any marks in it, we can finish it out on high speed. But for now, uh, long stroke and uh, slow speed. So let's see what happens. Okay, there's our sample bead. We're going to take our contour gauge
I think you can see that. We just take our contour gauge and put it in the original piece. I'm going to try and get you in here. This it wouldn't be nice to have somebody filming for me, but um, I don't know if you can see that or not. Oop, I messed it up. Hang in there. Let me reset it. I'm not able to tell what you're seeing there, but um, that's the bead we're looking for. It came out, it came out pretty nice. Um, so that now is a duplicate of what we have here. So what I'll do is I'll make a pattern. I'll make a pattern off of this piece here. Uh, we've got a curved flange there. We got the three beads to put in. This side has a curve in it. So I'll make a pattern and um, next video I will show you this particular piece being installed and we'll make part of the battery box and we'll put some of the other pieces in um, the rear cab corner and things like that and uh, we'll start buttoning up that uh, right rear corner. Um, it takes a little bit to get all the bad pieces out, make tooling, do things like that, but uh, I'm gaining on it, and uh, if you stick around, you'll see the rest of it come together, and um, let me see here if I can show you something else. Uh, we'll, be putting, we'll be putting this piece in. And that kind of fits on there. See how that that curve and everything is the same there. That piece will go in in the rear cab corner, and like I say, a little bit of the battery box, and that should take care of that whole corner. And uh, we'll be welding that in next time. So, just a short one today to show you where I'm at. Um, like I say, it takes a little bit of uh, pre-planning to get this stuff done, but the tooling is made now, uh, and I can put the beads in. I just got another delivery of 18 gauge steel today so um, plenty of material on site so we'll just tear into this piece next time and I'll show it to you uh, installed in the vehicle okay thanks for watching catch you on the next one